On today's show, Harvard gives everyone the chance to build a soft robot at home. Just in time for Halloween, a zombie train that we are dying to ride. You wrote that in the script, right? Oh boy, I didn't. You made that up. And a high-tech couture dress that lets you wear your emotions on your sleeve, literally. That is creepy. Tomorrow yeah. Daily. I don't think I very much enjoy you moving around like an octopus. It's weirding me out. Punch I'll do the that, sky. I'll do that instead. There we go. Greetings, Nailed citizens it. of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Skeva. Joining me as always, Kale Anonymous. Hey, good to see you again. How's it? Feels how'd, like only yesterday. It feels like only yesterday. How it do? How'd it do, nephew? How'd it do? I'm in another one of those zones where I've just been playing video games like nonstop. I've it's, been hearing this. It's getting super close to like video game release season because of I the know. holidays. Well, so. it's already kind of here, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of occupying my brain. That's why I come here, and it's like Just, I get to learn about the world. It's like cleaning out your brain with yeah, pipe cleaner. With real, actual, cool information. With good news. So uh, with that being said, let's hit the headlines. <laughs> so we talk a lot about robots on the show. Yeah, I love it. And a lot of times, there, I'm sure there are people out there who are like, man, I wish I could make some cool robot like this at home. And now Harvard University is giving enthusiasts the chance to do exactly that. Uh, they have come out with a soft robot toolkit. And this is the, the video. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is in collaboration with Dublin, Ireland's Trinity College. It, it is a toolkit that contains all the intellectual tools for enthusiasts and experienced robot builders to make their own. So the toolkit doesn't actually have parts. Um, it, you go to the website which is softroboticstoolkit.com. And it contains information about all the various parts you could use. Um, and it gives you all the information you need to sort of shop around and pick up all the things that you would need to make a soft robot. And then on the site, there's also downloadable open source plans. There's how-to videos. There's case studies, tutorials, data, a sample code. They'll even give you sample code for controlling your soft robot. Um, but they're really excited about soft robotics, and they um, they think that open data in this way and, and sort of a collaborative effort by enthusiasts and researchers and scientists alike will bring about even cooler sort of advancements in this particular area of robotics. So it's it's uh, you have to already kind of know a little about about robotics to do this. I think a, a little bit, but the, the nice thing is is I believe the board that they talk about is Arduino. So, and I've heard from a few people that programming for Arduino is actually not that bad. And actually, if you have any experience with any kind of code, I would imagine it wouldn't be terrible or completely foreign to look at the sample code and sort of say, okay, well, I'm gonna tinker with this and see what this does or see what this does. So I'd imagine that if you have some experience, it wouldn't be too bad. What do you think are some practical uses that people are gonna come up with for this? Well, we already have seen a lot of soft robots that do, like, the point is rescue is a good one. Yeah, so that's they'll a great one. expand and contract as they, you know, go through rubble. Um, I don't know. I, like, I know the other day I saw the, there was a soft robotic sort of experiment that had suggested that we might see resizable clothing, like in Back to the Future, where he has <gasps> the jacket that resizes. Yeah. Like, it's, there is actually sort of a thing that That's has, not really needed, though. It's not needed, <laughs> it's no. It's kind of like overkill. It's not the jacket we want. It's the jacket no, we need. No, yeah. <laughs> so well, they can make pretty much anything crawl now. So, like, you can yeah. do soft robotics and then put it on your phone and make it crawl. That's really low. I know that's a really low idea, but you can add anything to make it crawl now. So yeah. So that's, there's that. Yeah. Uh, prosthetics, obviously, that's a thing. Um, is there I anything mean, you can add to your car? That that would be useful for for soft robotics. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I maybe something where if you get a flat tire, maybe your donut is soft robotics. Um, That's a great idea. Something like that. I mean, there's a lot of different. I mean, I listen. The people out there who are going to be getting this toolkit are probably going to think of a million better <laughs> ideas. Yep. Because um, they smart. Because they are very smart. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's a really cool idea. So again, if you go to softroboticstoolkit.com. Um, they also have a database that's a common resource for everybody who wants to get this toolkit to share information, tips, designs, fabrication techniques, technical knowledge, like all kinds of stuff. So designers around the world, uh, not only robotics people, but also designers who want to make products uh, can all collaborate with each other and make great things. 
This Pretty is cool. unbelievable. Pretty I cool. love the easy accessibility, like Maker Bot and all right. that stuff. Just yeah. buy a toolkit. Let's do that's it. That's great. Wait, did they say how much it costs? The toolkit, you can just go, you go to the website. Toolkit, that's it. But but it doesn't it's include not free, parts. Though. Well, no, the, the toolkit's free, but it's an it's sort of an intellectual toolkit. Oh. Where it's more like here's all the information you need and here's the parts that you could use to build oh, okay. the software. Okay, I gotcha, and then I gotcha. you have to go out and get all the parts right. yourself. Right, all right.